Welcome back to another episode of The Ultimate Iron Man. It's been a couple days now, and I've still not seen another Kraken's task, so I figured it's about time to just go ahead and start this video. Nothing special going on, maybe hope I to activate a little YouTuber luck at Shaman's here, but we are still well under drop rate for the Warhammer. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll just, you know, more Slayer. More, more killing, more money making. The cash stack is looking better and better every day. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll see a trident pretty soon. Just finished a trip from a different shaman's task now. And we have an 8 mil cash stack. Almost 8.1 mil. That earth stack wasn't going to use there. Okay, very, very close to 8.1 mil. So if we don't get the, the, uh, the trident this episode, maybe at least we can get a, a green cash stack. That would be pretty nice. Don't think I mentioned either, but while I was uh, between episodes, while I was training, I got 88 defense and 96 hit points. I think it was the only two levels. Just general combat stuff, you know. Didn't think it was worth recording at the time. Got two clues from Hellhounds. It's a loaded one, and just some Alks. The cash stack will accept it. This is my third Lizardman task from this guy. I don't know if he just gives him more, or I'm just getting lucky, but I will absolutely take it i think this is the first time in a month we've shown tony tears of gothics but uh, that's 67 rune crafting and i'll see you in probably another month so i had gotten a spirit sapling a while ago and so i just took out the tree at the farm guild because we can get there whenever we want and i went ahead and put one here in brimhaven because we frequently need to come here for i feel like clue steps oh, yeah it's a clue to talk to the uh the agility guy here and also just a convenient spot for i know maybe slayer sometimes we have to do konar slayer this is a nice way to get down here so i think it was the best out of because all the other ones are ports rim obviously not we have the ring um it's there it's it's a terrier how do you say that uh, no we have the jeweler box and then no city has my house is there and again i'd like to have the zarek talisman at some point so this just uh this made sense and we've got that now that's another 10 tasks down. Still no sign of the Kraken's task. I missed a little sound, but at least the uh, the message will stay up. We've got 91 range now. A lot of that was from Lizardman Shamans. There we go. Another Hispori down the drain. We're going to get lucky. No. Well, I knew it was coming up, but I was AFK pretty hard. I was out in the kitchen and... We missed 89 defense, but more important than that, it looks like we missed a Snapdragon seed too. That sucks. But one more level until 90 defense, and I have undecided whether or not I'm going to do... I might start going like 1-1 one -one back and forth for attack and defense, but we'll see. I've had a pretty big weekend, or a pretty busy weekend, and uh, it's been a couple days since I have my last clip I've recorded. Just more Slayer stuff, but... I did manage to get a 10 mil cash deck. We're actually well on our way to 11 mil at this point. These shamans just keep the money coming, and I've killed a whole freaking lot of them, which I won't complain about. You know, it's always it's always a chance for the warhammer. Oh, unfortunate situation right there. But yeah, it is looking more and more likely that we might hit uh, 88 Slayer before we see another Kraken's tax, which kind of sucks. At some point, I'll I'll probably just end up skipping a whole bunch until I get one because this is getting a little ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. Somewhat unexpected, but when I check the health of this palm tree here, we are going to have... What is it, 87? 86 farming, getting ahead of myself. But yeah, just been doing runs here and there. Got a couple of spory kills, and uh, they add up. Just finished up another shaman's task. You see we've killed just over 1,100 of them now, and I wasn't going to say anything. But according to the wiki, without a Ring of Wealth on, the shield left half is 1 in 6,000 thereabout. So, uh, almost 1 in 7,000. So, uh, yeah, you'll love to see that, I guess. Well, I did say it was a possibility, and there it is. 88 Slayer, and we have still only seen the one Kraken's task. So at this point, I think I'm going to start being very, very generous with the tasks I skip. I have uh, almost 1,800 points. 18,000, 18, 18 million. I have almost 1,800 points. So uh, I, I'd be comfortable going at least down to 1,000. 
if we still don't see any Kraken Tats. If we get that far, then I will be very, very sad if we don't see anything. I just got up. You can see this is the uh, the new Kingdom Divided update is here. And uh, I noticed these guys drop malicious ashes now, which I remember reading back forever ago. that you can, like, I think they're used for the new, some of the new um, Karen spells, but also you can scatter ashes. There's no option when they're on the ground, but if you pick them up and scatter them, you get 65 prayer XP from these guys. So that's, uh, that's pretty good. I don't know. I think at some point you're going to be able to get, like, an ash scatterer similar to the bone crusher, but I don't know how you get that right now. I just checked the wiki and apparently, or like the update notes, not the wiki. Uh, apparently, you just need to have completed the Korand and Kibos uh, hard diary, which I have done. All right, so I think it says this, this person right here. So we talked to them. Uh, can I have an ash sanctifier, please? Okay, right away. And then also they updated the look of the Arceus spellbook. I like how it looks a lot. It's very. It's still got some purple, but it's got a lot of nicer highlights in it to kind of match the color of these teleports. But yeah, um, something that's really nice about this is actually even nicer than the uh, Bone Crusher, in my opinion, is that you charge it with Death Runes, which is obviously more expensive, but go ahead and uncharge, you just get them immediately all back. So there's there's no way. So I don't spend any time getting stuff together. I don't worry about, you know, like dropping the tokens like I would for the Bone Crusher or whatnot. It's just very, very easy. So I'm just going to start using that all the time for uh, the demonic tasks. So I'm going to have to learn. i uh, going to have to start learning which tasks are actually the ones that drop uh, ashes now. Because, you know, they changed a lot, of, a lot of, not a lot, but a couple, a couple different enemies now drop ashes instead of bones. Another thing, too, with the death runes, each death rune gives 100 charges. And if you uncharge it when it's, like, not in an even number, it'll still keep, like, however many charges it had left. So I had... 86 charges left and I still got all my death runes back so you don't have to you're not forced to keep all your death runes in there or something like that you can put one in there use it once and then take them out if you only need a couple hundred charges or something as I said I'm going to start skipping for a kraken task and I mentioned this before but Konar is technically a slightly better chance to give them to me so I'm just going to do them from her since I'll be skipping anyway so what do you got for me Konar let me get lucky <laughs> nope hey there we go finally that was uh, quite a few skips, as you can see, although not as much as I was willing to do. So we, got, so we used just around 400 points for skip it until we got those, but we finally got it back. And oh man, I really, really need to get the try on this task. Total Rose, I just got like 20 kills and don't even have my, uh, my, my Topaz bracelet. So definitely want to go grab those before I keep going. Oh man, oh, super inefficient, unbelievable. Yes, 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 we got it, we got it. In fact, I'm gonna stop killing this guy right now. Let's get out of here. Look at that, there it is, the uncharged tridents. Let's see how many Krakens did it take. We're looking at 276, so uh, not bad at all. Only a teeny bit overdrop rate, can't complain. Now that we have this, uh, really just going to be getting ready for Barrows pretty much. Need Definitely need to do some inventory, looting bag, cleaning up. I got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, but first thing first, it's uh, time to say goodbye to the Slayer Helmet for a while. I just dropped the task right now. I'm actually going to, when I come back, we're probably going to try the, uh, the Kraken boss. But uh, I was going to put that in there because we don't need, I mean, we got a bunch of stuff. It's this, Barrows, Zora, crafting, so... It, it could be a minute before we see the uh, the Slayer helmet again. Figured over here, might as well get this trident uh, charged up. I only had to buy fire runes. I had enough chaos and just enough death runes. But I guess do we just use them on there? And is it going to say, okay, we can hold up to 2,500. Bang, there we go. Okay, and now that it is full, we can also still put it in the looting bag because it is tradable. Because I'm going to put that in there for now. I got the rest of the stuff in there. Because we are going to not be going right to Barrows, actually. Got something else on the docket for a second. And we're here at the Charter Ship. So I've got a whole bunch of stuff set up. I am on the Lunar Spellbook. I've got a whole bunch of Astral Runes because I'm going to be casting Super Glass Make for a while. 
I really want to jump right into Barrows now that we have the Trident, but I mentioned I had a busy weekend last weekend, and now this weekend I am going out of town for a couple days. So I will have a couple hours here and there each day to play, but not really something to focus, and I'll just be on my laptop so I can't really record much, if anything. Uh, so I just figured crafting is good because we got a decent amount of crafting ahead of us, and uh, it's just something chill, something easy I can do. So uh, I'll try and maybe get screenshots of level ups or something, but uh, the best thing I'm going to do is I have some XP tracker set up for magic and crafting. We'll see how much I do. I've never done super glass make before. I think you do 10 and 10. I could actually have enough space to do one more than that, but I don't want to have to worry about doing that for different words. And I just cast super glass make. I don't have any sand. Oh no no no! See, look, I'm already I'm already messing up. You don't need the soda ash. You need the buckets of sand. Sorry to any Iron Man trying to do that here at Prith. Now I cast Super Glass Make, and then you get like that. I think was one two three four five six seven eight. Uh, so we got one extra. I'm pretty sure it's like you on average get like one point three pieces of molten glass for things. So that was an unlucky uh, inventory but we might get uh, more lucky other than that. So yeah, but it's just that. And then you sell them back to the ship and hop worlds. So it's still the same amount as hopping as the, uh, like the earlier charter ships, but you just, uh, the convenience is that you don't have to go anywhere. You can literally just stay in one spot the whole time. So yeah, thank you all for watching. I know this is a bit of a uh, longer episode. It was just kind of just, it's what I did the last two weeks. Doesn't feel like two weeks of progress, but man, I'm glad it's over. So I am happy to get this crafting grind going and really, really excited to get on to Barrow's next episode. Thanks for watching. I hope we'll see you then.